Welcome to the DLR webcast. What you see here is the DLR crawler. It is a small six-legged walking robot, which we have built up based on the fingers of the DLR hand too. The features special to the crawler are torque sensors in each joint and a force sensor in each foot. These allow us to implement compliant control algorithms, making the crawler walk smoothly and elastically. The legs, which are basically the fingers of the DLR hand too, were constructed in a joint effort of teams dealing with mechanics, electronics and control technology. The crawler itself was then built up by a relatively small team, and we are now working together with a second department, which will realize the robot navigation based on camera data. The cameras are standard, commercially available cameras, but the algorithms that we use to process the camera data are special. We have two cameras installed on the crawler, by which we attain stereo images. A colleague has developed and written a very efficient and powerful algorithm for processing the stereo data. This algorithm, which has been used, for example, for modeling terrain data acquired with satellites or aircrafts, has now been ported to the crawler, which uses it for its navigation through rough terrain. The monitor displays a processed camera image of the crawler. The crawler takes the initial stereo camera data, extracts the 3D information and builds up a contour map of the terrain. It colors the map in red, green and yellow according to how passable the terrain is for it. Based on that information, it chooses the easiest way to reach its destination. The main application for such a crawling robot is moving in areas that are too dangerous or inaccessible to humans. The medium-term goal of the crawler is to provide us with first experiences of movement over rugged terrain and to learn how the crawler might independently overcome obstacles without human intervention. The long-term goal is, of course, that the robot will manage to find its own way and perform given tasks in a completely unknown terrain. Whether this will be the collection of stones or searching for something is presently of secondary importance. Space research, for example the exploration of distant planets, is one of several future applications in which we can imagine the crawler to be beneficial. Another important future use is assistance in disaster areas. We can imagine having a group of crawlers that in parallel explore the disaster area, perhaps searching for victims or injured humans, as completely autonomous search robots. Many such applications come to mind, such as areas struck by earthquakes or chemical industry accidents. Both are very challenging and worthwhile goals for using the crawler. Thank you. This was a DLR webcast.